Hello, welcome back to the Trademark Sports YouTube channel. Origin football is less than a month away, so today we're going to talk about the Queensland team that I'm going to select and that I believe will be selected by Billy Slater. Because to be honest, unlike the New South Wales team, Queensland's team seems pretty up and like straight up and down to select, which honestly, as a Blues fan, quite concerns me. Uh, if you are a Blues fan and interested in the team that I have chosen, I also have that video over on my YouTube channel, so I can leave this like, link in the description for that one. You can go along and watch that one and let me know your thoughts on that. Um, but without further ado, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment about any changes you'd make to your Queensland team and just predictions for the series. Um, so first off, at fullback, it's going to have to be Reese Walsh. Uh, I think, obviously, with Kalen Ponga injured now, that fullback spot is like locked down for Reese Walsh. It probably was anyway, which is crazy to think about because Kalen Ponga is literally the reigning Dalian medalist. However, I think Reese Walsh, he... the thing with Queensland is a pick and stick. So the fact that um, Reese Walsh killed it last year in Origin when he was given the chance means that he's the incumbent and he's going to get that first shot at that jersey. If he was to play poor and Caleb Ponga was, um, was fit, I imagine that then Caleb Ponga probably would have more of a claim to get that number one spot. But hey, that's the, ten like, that's the, the fullback that I have and I think that's just obviously the obvious choice. Uh, barring any injury touch wood that he doesn't have uh, over the next four weeks because we want to see the best players play Origin. That's the other thing with the Queensland team. In the four pack, they're a little bit lighter than they have been in the past just because there's been a couple of injuries to guys like Tino and um, Tom Gilbert and that sort of thing. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, the wingers I have, Selwyn Cobbo and Xavier Coates. I think, again, they're the obvious choices. Really, really good coming out of their own end meter-wise. Great in the air. Question marks defensively for both of them. Um, that's probably the only knock I can put on them. They're both fantastic players, but defensively, I mean, Xavier Coates, like, pretty defensively sure. On the wing, Solon Cobbo doesn't have as many issues defensively as he does in the centers, so I think I'm happy for that. Like, if you're Queensland and you've got them on the wings, you're feeling pretty solid. Uh, then in the centers, I do have Valentine Holmes as the obvious choice there. You know, Val Holmes is only 28. That's pretty nuts. Um, and the, the other center I do have is the Hammer. Um... Yes, he's injured at the moment, but I think, again, like Reese Walsh, what I was saying there is that he, when he plays Origin, he's fantastic in the centers there, and I feel like Billy Slater is going to reward um, his form in Origin and pick him again. Um, with the hammer, they're like, he, yes, he is injured. I think what he's got, probably going to have three games, maybe, max, uh, before he comes back and plays Origin. I think that's going to be enough for him to get some time in the legs. However, if he isn't fit... I'm going to be putting, um, like, what I would do if I was Billy Slater for this team would be to move Selwyn Cobbo into the centers and then bring bring Murray Talungi onto the wing. So it's a pretty solid back five, either way you look at it. Uh, then the Queensland halves, they picked themselves. Cameron Munster at six, obviously, probably the best pure footballer in the comp at the moment, maybe. Uh, but definitely the best number six. And his running game and everything's elite. We've seen what he's done in Origin before. He is a fantastic footballer, and as a New South Wales fan, makes me very, very nervous whenever he enters the Origin arena. And then the halfback as well, Daly Cherry Evans. There was calls to him like two years ago to be given the punt from Origin. And like to be honest, I was probably one of those guys that was like, I don't know how he's still getting picked, but I mean, that was around the time when New South Wales were starting to win some series. Um, and there was question marks around him. Ever since then, like since 2020, basically, he's just like silenced all of those. He's been sensational. Daily Cherry Evans in origin and just in general. Like he's what, 35 now and just gets better with age. Uh, he's really, really matured as a fantastic halfback. Probably one of the best in the comp. He's definitely the best in the comp in certain attributes. Like I honestly think his game management might be up there with the, like, the best in the comp. Unfortunately, at club level, doesn't have, probably have the team around him, um, like in some other key positions. But look, that's not to take away with like what he's done in the Origin Arena. And yeah, I think again, he's probably in for another really good series. Now, the four pack, um, starting front rowers, I got Lindsay Collins and Ruben Cotter, both just fantastic football players. Uh, Lindsay Collins, he showed last series, like he sort of had his breakout series last year and just breakout year as a player. Uh, I think it's always been there and there's a, bit, there's a reason why he's getting picked for Origin. Like he's a sensational player. But I think last year, like those, those clips of him, like just those effort areas, um, out leaping James Tedesco on a kick chase to score a try. Um, and I think as well, like after that, you pay attention to how much, like just the one percent as he puts in. 
and I don't have enough rats for it. He's so good. Uh, and then Ruben Cotter, his leg speed, especially early on, is going to probably be like a bit of a um, difference maker, I think. A bit of a point of difference in the origin because you have all, all these big burly blokes going out there just bashing each other to start with. And a bit of leg speed around the middle uh, could be quite crucial for um, just the outcome of the whole game, to be honest. I think Ruben Cotter, he, if, he, if he had to, he could play 80 in the front row. He's just an absolute workhorse uh, and just an original footballer. And then at hooker, the best hooker in the competition, Harry Grant. I don't think there's much need to say more about why he's going to get selected. Uh, he's like just running game out of dummy halves. Great. His pass selection, his choice of when to run, when to pass, when to kick. Uh, defensively, he doesn't have any issues either. I think Harry Grant is by far and away the best hooker in the competition and the best hooker that we've seen since probably the GOAT in the position, Cameron Smith. Um, and then in the back row, this is where like sort of you can have a few different picks and different uh, choices, but... I've gone with what's probably the obvious choices, uh, Jeremiah Nanai and David Fafita. Um, Jeremiah Nanai is, what, 21, and he's such a well-rounded player. I think there's sometimes, maybe probably like decision-making-wise, he can sometimes go for the glory a little bit. And I think as well, defensively, on an edge, he can get exploited a little bit, um, which New South Wales will probably look to target. Good thing about these second rows as well, Nanai is right-sided, Fafita is left-sided, which is something that sort of New South Wales, New South Wales are looking at, like, probably going to start with two right-side second rowers, so that just um, throws one of their games off a little bit, whoever gets put out to the left. Anyway, uh, then David Fafita, he's probably, like, one of the most damaging ball runners in the competition, especially when, he, when he's on fire. Like, him running off, like, Cherry Evans on Munster's hip is a scary thought. Uh, good luck to anyone trying to tackle him. Um... Again, like he's one of those guys that when he plays Origin, he's in the arena. He just goes to another level. And he's been in okay form for the Titans so far. I've struggled this year. So I can only really see that going up um, and in the state of Origin Arena. And then at lock, it's Paddy Carrigan. Again, like he's just an absolute workhorse. Could put him out there for 80 and he'd come off the field with 60 tackles and 120 run meters all from like hit ups. He's just the epitome of like an origin footballer probably not the most like he's not definitely not the most flashy footballer like his highlight reel is just going to be like tackles around the waist and like hit ups at the end of his career that's pretty much all he does but he just does it so well and all day and he's just a great leader through his actions and one of those guys that you want to play football with and then onto the bench um there's a couple positions that could be up for grabs a little bit here um, and to be honest, I think my bench is probably a little bit light on in terms of like the forward rotation. However, you've got guys like Paddy Carrigan can come on and play front row for a little bit. Ruben Cotter can just go forever. So when you put those guys in, it's not too bad. But 14, I've got Ben Hunt. I don't think he's done anything to deserve to be dropped. Leading the comp in Trisis at the moment. I'm also a Dragons fan, so I watch a lot of Ben Hunt play. Last couple of games hasn't been fantastic, but hey, look, every, every dog has its day, as they say. Um, but look, I think... You could pick Tommy Dearden here as well. I think he's been good enough so far to start the season. And if you're looking towards, like, sort of bringing those, get him a bit of experience for the future. But then, at the same time, it's like you want to win Origin right now. I think that's what the Blues have been caught up a little bit at the moment recently. Is like, moving towards the future, looking at, like, you know, you want to pick all these guys for three, four years' time. And then worry about winning now. Right now. Get these guys into camp, but you need to win this series. Um, so, I think... For me, Ben Hunt is the obvious option. And it gives Harry Grant that like, relief at hooker too, if need be, which he probably will be a need to in the modern game. Then I've got a origin debut. Jermaine Hopgood coming off the bench, can play as the middle. Um, he can either play front row or push Carrigan to like to front row or not. I think he just definitely deserves his origin uh, debut cap. He's been, like again, ever since he's like, signed for para, you just know what you're going to get out of him. A thousand tackles, so many run meters, good ball player too. Um, I do think Jermaine Hopgood's a very well-rounded player and would do well in the origin arena. Then at my other front row on the bench, Tommy Flegler. Again, I believe he's currently injured or just returned from injury. Uh, so there's a bit of a cloud there, but a few more games under his belt. I absolutely think he'll be origin ready. And then my last player in this team, there's a few guys you could pick from here. Um, Felice Kafusi comes to mind. There's another couple of front rolls that names escape me right now. Um, there's also like a guy like Maxi Plath, who I think has been sensational start of the year and probably a bit of a smoky shout. But I've gone for Jaden Sewer. Again, this could just be because I'm a Dragons fan and I'm watching him week in, week out. But he has really um, found his form, especially from like the 2021 uh, season. I think Jaden Sewer has been really, really damaging on an edge. Um, 
Then you, you could play mi middle as well. You could probably, if you brought him on, you could push Fafita to the middle if you had to. Just like thinking about this forward rotation. Uh, but Sua has been phenomenal. Uh, he's like, uh, probably his, the only thing I could really knock on him of like a recent couple of years is his work ethic um, and just that drive to win. And that's absolutely there in abundance for him this year. I think he's made it a goal for himself, absolutely, to get back into the Maroons' fold. And I think he's certainly done that. So my team, 1 through 17, is Reese Walsh, Selwyn Cobbo, uh, The Hammer, Valentine Holmes, Xavier Coates, Cameron Munster, Daly Cherry Evans, Lindsay Collins, Harry Grant, Ruben Cotter, Jeremiah Nanai, David Fafita, Patrick Carrigan, Ben Hunt, Jermaine Hopgood, Tommy Flegler, and Jaden Sewer. So that's my team. Let me know any changes you'd make or what your team is in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get in there and reply and um, just have a conversation with you in the comments. Let's keep it respectful. Just remember to Scotty drink your water and Brabin do your best and go the Blues.